It's Mr. Cleveland, by the way. Thank you. I ain't got the eye patch on this video. Uh, how y'all doing today? Good. Part three of top 10 things I hate. Let's just go ahead and get right to it. Hopefully, y'all enjoy part one and two. Uh, we got seven more of these. Um, let's just get started, though. Uh, I'm going to start off with number one because we got a minute of it. So, we're going to have to just do two then back in one. Let's just, number two, no, nah, number one, we could do number one, we could do number one, we could go one, no, nah, that's the, um, hold on, real quick, no, nah. all right, number one, my corn addiction. Now, let's talk. I'm going to talk more about that. Let's say my past corn addiction. Let's just say my past. I'm going to talk about that in another video. It's going to be a separate video, but corn addiction, my past corn addiction. Um, I hated it. Um, You know why you should hate it. It's just bad for you. See, they try to make it seem like it's not bad for you. Oh, you do 21 times a month is good. Oh, prostate cancer, blah, blah, blah. You know, they try to, I don't know, like nowadays, they really go above and beyond to push that agenda, the corn agenda. Uh, like even when you just go on social media, you go on any social media now, they, they can show the soft core. They, it's going to be soft core most of, I mean, besides Twitter, Twitter, you can just see what you see. Um, but yeah, just, it's like, they make it so, it's like, all I can do, right, I can end this video. I can step back right here, right now, open my phone, type up a corn video, just like that, and watch it right here, just like this. As I make this video, I can do it right here. I can even turn around and show you, but I'm not going to do that, obviously, but you get what I'm saying? Like, it's so easy to just watch. So nowadays, it's so easy to get addicted, like addiction. Like, I even watch people explain it. Because when you do think about it, back in the day, you had to go through a couple loops to get some of them videos. Now, <laughs> it's just at a tap of a button. So, I mean, yeah, I feel like it has some, some effect on my life growing up, most definitely. Uh, as far as, like, my personal life and stuff. Like, I definitely <clears throat> feel like it got definitely has something to do with that. I mean, a lot of people go through it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and just doing on it, but you get it. Uh, I could talk more about that in another vid, but yeah, I just feel like it, it's not good for you. You know what I'm saying? And I've been hooked since high school. I'll talk about that another bit. Let's just move on. Number two, cause we already three minutes in, not being able to take care of my mom. Now you like, well, it's your fault. Nigga. <clears throat> True. But that's how you just think. You sit back. You know, you ever see those videos when the people, you know, people buy their mom's cribs or you just be able to take care of your mom real easy without a, oh, I got to worry about this. All I gotta, like, nah, you just want to be able to do that. And it, it, it's not like a, it's like, I understand. I know most people probably not doing it or they want to do it. But, you know, like, it just, it just, it just sucks when, you, when you're not able to. But one day I'll get there. Uh, it, It'll just be nice to one day be able to just do that and not have to worry about nothing. That'll just be a hell of a feeling. I think it's kind of obvious on that point. Uh, but yeah. Um, number three. Wow, two downers, huh? Two uh, really downers. <sighs> All right, number three. Let's kind of hype it up a little bit. Late 90s babies. And here's why. Late 90s babies, right? They swear they so different from the early 2000s kids. That's like one of the main reasons. Like... I don't hate them. I just hate the way they act sometimes. They act like they so older than what they is. They try to make it stage. Because I was born old too. So a late 90s baby was born like from 97 to 2000, right? Well, to 99. It's 97 to 99, right? They swear they so 90s. Like, yes, technically you are a 90s baby. Yes, you were born in the 90s. But you are a baby. You don't remember shit from the 90s for real. Like, so you can't just act like you so hooked to the like. You, you don't remember? She was like three. What do you remember? You know what I'm saying? Like, they try to act like they so different. Oh, you. And they be, bro, if you ever been around a late 90s baby, don't y'all be like, don't y'all be saying when they be like, oh, 
Yeah, what you know? They uh, old school song can play, and you know they just dancing. See, y'all don't know. You youngest don't know, but like, dude, you are three. Like, you don't, you like, girl, you are three. Like, you don't like. We're not that far from apart. We're the same low key. Like, I get it. What was what's the last uh gen? Like, I and that's so cringe. You, I, I let me put, put that. I'm tired of that fucking talk. The let me let you fucking gen talk. That boring ass talk. That shit's so, old. Let me just throw it up in there. Yeah, I hate when people talk about Gen Z, Gen X, Millennials. Like, stop with that overused term. Like, them words are just annoying. Like, but what's the last generation called? Is it called Millennials or whatever? Like, I'm sorry. I'm just letting everybody know we taking from 97 to, let's say, 2005. We all in the same boat. Let me just say that now. 04, 05, yeah. And then from there on, there's some different people. Uh, but what I'm saying, like, all they, oh, you two, like, you, you, you're not that old. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're just not. You're just not. You're not that old. Like, y'all probably, like, two, three years older than us. If that. Like, y'all not that old. If you, if I'm 21, you're 24, we're not that far from apart. So stop, like, they just act like they're so older. That's really what it be. And they swear they so nice. Like, yes, you're a 90s baby. Okay, but, like, you don't remember nothing. You're a fucking baby. It's fucking annoying. 90s babies be annoying. Like, you're... Stop acting like you're so different early 2000s. I swear they... Oh, you was born in 2000. Oh, you're a little baby. Oh, you're a little, you're a little baby. Like, the whole time he's, like, two, three years older. Oh, okay. Um, makes you think you more mature than them at the time. But, yeah. Y'all, I just gave him a three-minute rant. It's just annoying, man. They just annoying. Like they cool. Like some of them cool, but like some of them just act like they just so much older. It's like you like if you were born ninety nine, like okay. You remember so much. You remember all the nineties, y'all. Woo, yeah, you were so so a part of it. Of course. Anyway. Um Number four. Roller coasters and theme parks. Yeah. I hate this shit. I don't like it. Now it's cool to watch other people, I guess. Um, but I'm not a fan of roller. I hate roller coaster. I remember the first roller coaster I was on, I didn't know what to expect. It went up high, it went up slow. I should have known something happening. Shit flew down so fast and started <laughs> like just hitting. <laughs> and I was crying. I was crying. The first roller coaster, I, I, I got off crying, and I hated it ever since. Now, granted, I just took a couple more roller coasters afterward. But overall, I am not a fan of roller coasters. I'm not a fan of theme park like the fair, like those little rides. They can they're not stable. But I don't. I just I'm just not a fan of that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I I'm just not a fan of that. It's creepy. It's scary. I, I'm just not. I just I be scared of shit. I ain't gonna lie. I be scared. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't, I ain't theme parks and shit. I'm good on all that. Roller coaster ride. I'm good. I'm good on that. I just don't like it. Um, uh, number five. Spoiled and spoiled rich kids and people. Like people who are rich. And spoiled rich kids because they just they just be ungrateful a lot of times. Not all of them, but but good and um you just see that they just um not the typical corporate, oh mom, you should've got me the, the fucking Bentley, not the fucking Rafe or whatever. Not that corporate. They just I don't know, like and it's only one. It's only bad when they try to like talk you, like when they try to like talk you into, when they try to like give you this talk. If it's like, bro, we come from two different backgrounds, bro. You just wouldn't understand, bro. You just wouldn't fucking understand, bro. Like, and I, and I'm like, I get it, but like, don't try to make it seem like you would like. It, it just you just gotta you gotta experience it to know it. If you ain't come from a bad background or a not having a lot of money background. Having an emotionless background. Let's call it emotionless. A broke background. You know, you ain't really have it growing up. If you ain't come for that, you got to experience it to know it and to feel it. It's different. But some people, I can understand what you're coming from. Yeah, eventually we'll try to get out of that. I mean, that is the goal. But, like, like stop it, bro. Like, if you ain't going through it, you can't. You just got to experience it. No, I'm sorry. But if you rich, hey, enjoy that shit. Rich people, um, that could be a bit annoying. Uh. I think they they just entitled, just entitledness. Uh, I don't care if you're rich for real, cause I want to get rich. So I definitely understand. Maybe I gotta get rich to understand. Oh, maybe I do understand why. They, okay, makes a little sense. But overall, just a little entitled. 
I don't, I'm not one of the rich people that hate rich people because, oh, they got money and I don't. Like, nah. It's never that. Uh, so, yeah. That's just it with that one. Number six, TikTok trends. Uh, just cringe, bro. It's annoying. Cringe. Don't get it. Don't get why it's so popular. Shit be annoying. Not all of them. All, some of them should be cool, but it's rare for me. If it's 100%, about like 5% be cool. The rest of shit just annoying. Number seven, people who aren't black but act like they are. How long? How long? Oh yeah, people who act, people who want to be black but don't want to deal with um, the black problems, the problems of being black. And it's not a, necessarily a problem with being black, but you know, like you want to act black, but when the pressure comes on, now you want to go back to your roots. Oh, okay, um, yeah. So you want to do the black things, but don't want to also take what comes with being black in America. You know, different conversation, but you get the point, though. Like, those people who act like that aren't black, please stop doing that. Uh, it's cringe. Now, if you grew up around black people, you know, you just, that's just what you come out cool. But you, you don't have to, you can be yourself and be cool. I think us people, like, we appreciate when, like, we appreciate other cultures. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when y'all do your thing, it's kind of cool to see, too. Like, other cultures besides our culture is cool, too. Like, we got a cool culture, obviously. We got a lot of influence, which is cool. But y'all cultures be cool too. But you don't have to do too our shit or try to act like us really hard. Y'all got cool shit too. Like let's just we're all like try each other. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like it's not. I'm not gonna get too deep in it. I don't want it to be like oh a race thing. Like y'all get what I'm saying though. But I just yeah. Number eight. Any woman who isn't black but got black face features. Yes. Talking to you, white women with lip fillers, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Because being black, you know one of the things we get talked about is our lips being huge and, and big. And it's, oh, it's, it's not a good feature. Well, nowadays, we, we started understanding it and accept it more. Well, I never had a problem. Like, I'm, just a, I'm just a black dude. I'm chilling. I'm cool. I ain't never complain. But you know how people, like, we used to get talked about for our lips and our big noses and, you know, our big... Well, my ears are small, but yeah. Like, you know, like lips no big, like we got big face features. And now when you look at it in 2024, a lot of women who aren't black got the black face features, the big lips, right? Now the nose is just a nose thing, whatever. But it's the lip thing. I don't like seeing women who aren't black with, now if you're born with it, it's different. Obviously you're born with it. But when you, I can, but you can tell who got the fit. I just don't like it. It, it doesn't look right on nobody. I mean, well, it does. It doesn't look right on y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It doesn't look right on. It just don't. It's so obvious and it's not that attractive. Please stop doing. It, it just makes you look weird. like when y'all go get the features, like the unnatural features. Like it's just like we're made a certain way. Like it's, it's just like look, just love yourself. I don't know, like. I just don't like it. it. Just it doesn't look right when I see it. It just looks. It's a little not necessarily like I'm. It could be offensive in, in in a certain type of way. I'm just not a fan of not a fan of it at all. Now I'm not saying you will do with your body, do what you want, but just know um, I'm just not a fan of it. But uh, I just think it's it's interesting. It's kind of like the last thing while I was talking about where it's like, oh, you want the black. Want to be black, but you don't want to deal with <laughs> comes with it, okay? Um, but yeah, I just yeah, and it's crazy because I said cause I quoted that lip filler. I don't, I, it just irks me a little bit. I'm not a fan of that, but yeah. Number nine, the Green Bay Packers. Fuck the 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 Packers. They cheated. Fuck the Packers. Fuck the Packers. Fuck the Packers. If y'all know who I am, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. Fuck the Packers. Number 10, TikTok feeds. You niggas gotta, y'all gotta get your own style some, somehow, some way. Somehow, some way, y'all gotta get your own style. It's that simple. 
Yes, I still got bell palsy. I need to get myself to lock in, man. Uh, but yeah. Y'all gotta get y'all on style some way, somehow, though. Y'all really do. All these people dressing alike, please stop. It's annoying. You, I just can't wait till it go out of style. It's so annoying seeing this. Like, I just hate TikTok fit trends. Like, bro, everybody just do the same thing. Everybody, like, y'all just so easy to follow. Like, y'all so easy followers. Y'all so easy to manipulate. Like, y'all just do what everybody do, man. Like, be, be yourself. Be different. I don't know. Like, don't try too hard to be different. But you know what I mean? Like, just do something different. You niggas want to be the same. Everybody want the same stuff. And then they just hop on the next day. Just wave hop. Next thing you know, you done spent all this money on these clothes that y'all don't even wear no more. Um, uh, yeah, that's just that's part three, man. That's gonna do it for the video. Like and subscribe. Catch y'all next video. I'm gone. Hey, man. Subscribe. Watch the videos. We back.